Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to continue our work on division and uh, part two of division. And the only thing different between this and the last section is going to be the problems are going to get a little bit bigger and there's going to be a little more steps involved. But the basic idea is the same. You're taking a number and you're trying to divide a number into it and you're trying to see how many times can you do that. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started by working some problems and we're going to build up in complexity here. What if you have 47 divided by 2. Okay, 47 divided by 2. Well, the first thing you do is you rewrite this problem and you put 47 underneath the house and 2 on the outside. Okay, just like this. Now, what you're doing is you're trying to divide 2 uh, into 47. Okay, and the way you do this when you look at a problem is certainly, um, I don't know off the top of my head how many times 2 is going to go into 47. So I'm going to show you the method that you use to go ahead and do this. First number, the first thing you do is you take your 2 and you see, um, forget about the fact that it's 47 under here, okay? Just look at the first number, okay? Can 2 go into 4? Just without even looking at the 7, can 2 go into 4? In other words, 2 times what would give you 4, okay? 2 times what would give you 4? Well, I think that you all know the answer to that is 2, okay? 2 can go into, into 4 two times, okay? So... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, and see where that takes us. What we're going to do next is we're going to say 2 times 2, and we're going to multiply that, and we're going to get a 4 back. Okay? We're going to get a 4 back. Okay? And notice we haven't done anything with the 7 yet, so I'm just showing you the method here. <clears throat> the next thing you do is you subtract these two numbers. Okay? 4 minus 4. Okay? Well, that's going to give you 0. Okay? Like this. Okay? Now you're basically done here. You can't take 2 and divide it into 0 because, uh, you know, in order to do division, the number you're dividing into has to be bigger than this number. So you can't do any more division, okay? But you do have this 7 sitting out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an arrow, and I'm going to put this 7 down here, okay? So you have 7, okay? Now the thing you need to ask yourself is, how many times can 2 go into 7? In other words, 2 times what gives you 7, okay? 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6, and uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Well, that's too many. You can't do 2 times 4 because that'd be 8, and that'd be too many. You're looking for something close to 7. So 2 times 3 is going to give you 6. That's as close as you can get. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a 3 here over the next column, okay? And um, you're going to keep going. You're going to multiply. Every time you put a number up here, you've got to multiply, carry it down, subtract. So 3 times 2 is going to give you 6, okay? Again, you subtract. 7 minus 6 gives you 1, okay? And then the final thing you do is you say, can you divide 2 into 1? The answer is no, because this is too small. It's smaller than the number you're dividing by. And on top of that, there's no more digits to bring down here to help you out to make that number any bigger. So you say you have a remainder of 1, just like we had in the other problems. So the answer to this problem is going to be 23 remainder of 1. So what this means is that if you take 47 and you divide by 2, then that will go in uh, 23 entire times, but then you'll have one ball left over, okay? You can't go uh, an even number of times, okay? So I'm going to review that one more time. When you look at a random problem like this, you take and you see if you can divide the number into the first number. Answer was yes, so we put a 2, we got a 4, and we subtracted. Okay? We can't divide 2 into 0, so there's really nothing else we can do there. So at that point, you take the next number, and you drag it down, and you stick it down there. Okay? Now, I can divide 2 into 